Hey guys, so this is a Metala compressor cabinet aeration system. Um, so what we got here is a three quarters horsepower rocking piston compressor. It comes with the air filter, that's where the air goes in. That needs to be cleaned out once every year or so, depending on the dust of the environment is. Um, goes into four, a four way manifold. Uh, so there's basically three air stations we've got running here. You can calibrate that depending on the depth of your air stations. Uh, we've also got an air fan here. Um, and yeah, it comes with this compressor cabinet. So I like this because it's engineered pretty well with all these vents come from the top down. So that's pretty good just in case it heats up. Um, easy to close, um, easy to lock. Uh, you can put in a padlock there. Um, we have basically bolted this in because we're in um, the city of Belmont at Tomato Lake. So we've bolted one, two, three, four, just there. And it's bolted into concrete pads so no one can take it. That's a meter by meter concrete pad. Um, so what happens is basically the airlines run in through this um, PVC piping, going straight down into the water and then out to the side um, to wherever your air stations need to go. So step number one is to install the concrete pad. So dig it out, lay the concrete and let it dry for a few days. Step number two is to install the dyno bolts so you can mount the cabinet onto the concrete floor so no one can move it. Step number three is to drill the hole for the electrical cabling so you can hide all your electrical cabling going down into the ground and into the power box. Step number four is to dig a tench and install the PVC plumbing. Step number five is to feed the airline hosing uh, through to the mounted cabinet, uh, connect the hosing together. Step number six is to fill the air stations with the sand uh, so you can weigh it down. Step number seven is to get on the boat and unroll your weighted hosing into the desired positions for your air stations. Step number seven is to connect the air lines to the air stations and clamp it in. Step number eight is to attach the ropes and floats onto the air stations. So there you have it, an air station up and running. So the goal is to improve the water quality by increasing dissolved oxygen concentration, uh, which will hopefully break down nutrients. If you like this content, make sure you subscribe to our channel and like our video. We'll see you in the next one.